think the best potential probably is Tesla because it's been trading down for so long and it's finally got the expected news that everybody thought that Musk is going to get the pay package he wanted. And again, they're they're full on in Texas now. So I think it's good news for investors and good news for the stock because the stock has been basing out for what feels like forever. And again, I'm not saying they're going to get up back to the highs again anytime soon. It's so far away from the last high that it had, which was several years ago. And the market's been so bullish. But Tesla, with the backdrop of a bullish market, has a long way to run. And I think that's very, very positive. And, and of course, Apple, too. Apple could get to 250 before you even know it. I mean, when you look at where we're going here into the holidays in a couple of weeks, it's going to be July 4th. And then, boom, we come back from July 4th and it's earnings season. And then all these companies are going to report. And to think that they can't make 20, 30 percent jumps even in the next 30 to 45, 60 days, depending when their earnings are setting up, they absolutely could. Remember, Tesla has to report. And I think that's in July. Same thing with Apple. So, I mean, here we are. We're almost at the end of June. And these things could continue because of earnings, not just because of the market.